guitar and sunburst music. It's a very famous store in Quidgy. It's been around for a long time and I've come down to show you all the guitars and what they've got on offer at the moment. Doug at Sunburst Music and I've come down here today just so my students can find out what's on offer and meet Doug and look at his wonderful store and he's going to tell us about a little bit about Sunburst. Hello Gabrielle. Hello. Hey, uh, We've been training here since the 80s. Um, we like to think of ourselves as part of that community and uh, our little role is to bring a bit of music into the world. We have a mantra, that is that we'd rather, believe it or not, not sell you a guitar than sell you the wrong one. Okay, so, so therefore, if you, if you as a mum or, or a dad, you come into our shop and you're looking for an inexpensive instrument just to get the dream rolling, then we would encourage you to take home a Valencia guitar, which... So that's what a $90 guitar okay. can do for you. This guitar here is a lovely little instrument. This is a Cato guitar. These are very highly regarded by uh, guitar teachers the world over. This is somewhat up the food chain from the Valencia guitar. This is about $250 and it's beautiful. And that is also what you would call a half size. Ah uh, yes, this yeah. is a half size guitar. They're just beautifully made, they're fantastic value for money, they hold their value. Yeah. The other thing too that's important for parents to remember is that even though a child may um, outgrow the instrument, they're, they're not really suddenly too big to play this guitar, it's just that they've grown into a larger instrument. Mm. So now I can play a, a big adult's guitar right. and that's, that's appealing to the child. Yeah. But people will remember that this is much bigger than a ukulele, mm. and lots of adults play ukuleles, so yeah. it's always that to remember. So you can't really, you grow into them, but you don't grow out of exactly. them. Exactly. Right. That's right. right. Can we talk about this one here? We didn't talk okay, about so that's a La Mancha guitar. Okay. These guitars are brought into Australia by our friends at Cole Clark Guitars. Mm -hmm. So okay. this is okay. a, a non-gloss instrument. It's very, very lightweight. Um, Beautiful. They are such a beautiful mm. instrument. These guitars also uh, are priced from about $249 onwards. So we recommend the La Mancha. Uh, Cato guitar and the Valencia guitars in nylon string. I often get asked about the difference between nylon yeah. and steel string. Yeah. So for a beginner, what yeah. would you, like a beginner child, say, 8, 10, 12 years right. old? Right, okay, so read? that's a great question. That's a really important question. Two things come into play here. The first is affordability, and the second is ease of playability. So. A child just wants to start playing the guitar, and if you if you if you have a hundred dollars, you're willing to spend a hundred dollars on a guitar and not much more, then you'll get better value for money in a nylon string guitar because it costs less to to, to manufacture this. Right? So if you if you if you have a, if you're on a limited budget, just get yourself a nylon string. But the second half of, of the answer to that question is, back in the day, they used to say that. A nylon string guitar was your best option because it was easier to play. Right. Right. But now, with computer-assisted manufacturing, we can now produce a really inexpensive acoustic guitar for about two hundred and fifty dollars. That's so easy to play. It's like it's as easy as an electric guitar to play. So, from that point of view, if it inspires a child and excites a child to 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 bond with music. Uh, and to associate with it and to want to be part of that 
that type of life, mm -hmm. then get a steel string because it's it's just a bit more fun. Mm -hmm. well, that's the sound of a steel string guitar. And this is the sound of a nylon string guitar. That's why we say, if you can, get a steel string guitar. Mm. And so this one here is the Australian made guitar. This is a Maton. So these are made in Melbourne. They've been making these guitars since 1946. Mm, this is Tommy Emanuel's. Uh, that's right. That's exactly yeah. right. So these guitars are famous the world over these days. They sell lots of them in Nashville. Lots of them in London. Wow. So, you know, they're a very widely accepted instrument. Mm. That's great. Uh, so, yeah, we really Beautiful recommend sound. these. If you wanted something a little more affordable, this is a Sigma guitar. This is very closely modelled on the famous Martin guitar. Mm -hmm. They do sound great. It's a solid top mahogany instrument. Mm -hmm. Does the does any of the gloss on it make any difference to the sound, or is that just purely aesthetic? Well, it's a little bit of both. It is obviously aesthetic, but um, I think it does. I think it does make it. it the uh, the glossy finish just makes the guitar sound slightly brighter. Mm, that's interesting. Okay. And the other thing too with these instruments is that you may find that um, as your as your first guitar, it becomes much more playable if you bring it to us and we put a set of extra light gauge strings on it mm -hmm. and set it up for that as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. That way you get something that sounds amazing right. but also it plays with the ease of an electric guitar. Okay. And so then everybody's happy. The Dreadnought instrument, mm -hmm. would you pass me that, that black guitar yep. there? So this is a Dreadnought guitar. Oh, I see. I see. This is a triple O size instrument. Uh, but it's also regarded as full size. It's just more compact than a Dreadnought. Okay, lovely. Mm -hmm. And in the acoustic guitars, uh, we recommend the court instrument. Could I just quickly see that one? This there? one here? The guitar starts at about $250. Where's court? Where's court? This is a, this is a Korean owned company. So these are very, very popular. The Court Guitar Company is one of the biggest manufacturers in the world. Wow. And, and they, they make uh, a lot of other very famous branded guitars mm -hmm. in their factory. I, one of the things I do recommend nylon for is for when kids are starting to, yes. when they're first learning and yeah. they haven't got the calluses yeah. yet on mm, the tips of their sure. fingers. So, yeah. But do you think that's still an issue or that? It's probably more of an issue with some people, with yeah. some children, some children don't want any pain ever. Mm, okay? mm. Other kids might be excited at the idea of having a guitar mm. that sounds like this. Mm. Uh, this, this. Yeah. Some kids gotta do that. <laughs> And that's got to happen on one of these. Yeah. You can do it on that, but it just doesn't rock out in the same way. And so, if there's a little bit of discomfort involved, yeah. so be it. It's not. It's hardly a broken one. Not the end of the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a good idea for parents to bring their child down to you. To I do yeah. because because with our experience here, bearing in mind that we've been training for thirty years, so if you bring your eldest child to me for uh, a guitar. I may recommend something completely different to your other child mm -hmm. and it may not be so much to do with the price of the guitar or necessarily even the style of the guitar but something that, that matches that child's temperament. Now another question mm -hmm. I had for you was about left-handed people Fantastic. and guitarists okay. and what do you recommend you there? Just pass me that one. This one? Thank you. We've all seen that person with an upside down looking guitar. No? I can think of, say, Jimi Hendrix. I can think of Paul McCartney and maybe yeah, and Kurt Cobain. Okay, we we all love these guys. They're all legends. Mm -hmm. But I don't think any of those people would have be commenced on a a, a left-handed guitar if they would had the right advice. I've not ever met a left-handed player who's happy 
that they are a left-handed player. When we, when we first start, start, of course we've got a bit of muscle memory because we've done a bit of air guitar, left-handed or right-handed. And so it's natural then if we've been doing this left-handed that we'll just get a left-handed guitar. However, 10 minutes into your first guitar lesson, if you're learning right-handed, um, that left-handed muscle memory will disappear and right-handed muscle memory will begin to emerge. And the thing is that 99% of the guitars on the planet are right-handed. I prefer not to think of them so much as right-handed and left-handed. I prefer to think of it as just, that's a guitar. This is a left-handed guitar. So the thing is that left-handed guitars are probably not uh, quality controlled by left-handed players. So they just pass through the production process and out they come and some people buy them. But uh, we always recommend that you play the guitar this way. In, this, in the same way that we, we don't meet left-handed piano players. We meet left-handed people who play music. Simple as that. And one of the things I say is you use both hands. Yes, exactly. So which is the most dominant. Exactly. And, and look, here's a little secret for... We don't normally share this with our right-handed friends, <laughs> right? But the fact is that for left-handed players, because they favour this limb, their left hand is... their left arm and hand is stronger. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's here... where that extra strength really comes in handy. So really, just between you, me and the gatepost, mm -hmm. lefties are at an advantage playing a so-called right-handed guitar. Mm -hmm. And you're left-handed. I am indeed. <laughs> so. And I'll, 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 sign, I'll sign that. <laughs> Signing off. Mm. All so right, so thank you so much, Doug. It's That's my been pleasure. really informative. I hope um, our, some people out there will get something from it. So Sunburst Music is in Coogee, Coogee Bay Road. What number of Coogee Bay Road? We're at 122 Coogee Bay Road, just opposite the primary school. Mm. Look, I just hope that um, people are aware that they're welcome to visit our store, that we go out of our way to make it a, a memorable and enjoyable experience, and that we take as much time as they need in order to make a decision that they'll be happy with going forward. And if anyone ever buys a guitar here and after a few days they feel that it wasn't the best choice, they, they can always bring it back and we'll just switch it over to that other guitar that they probably looked at. Alright, All right. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you.